Hey everyone! Welcome back to Developer Matty. Today's tutorial is all about data validation in Excel. I'll show you how to restrict inputs, create drop-down lists, set up custom error messages, and much more to keep your data clean and error-free. Let's dive in. Data validation in Excel helps you control the type of data entered into cells. It ensures accuracy and prevents errors by setting rules, like allowing only numbers or specific dates. Let's start by applying some simple validations to a dataset. Example data. Employee name. Age. Join date. Department. Salary. Let's restrict the age column to accept numbers between 18 and 60. Select the age column, B2 B10. Go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation. In the dialog box, under Allow, choose Whole Number. Set Minimum to 18 and Maximum to 60. Press OK. Now, if someone enters a number below 18 or above 60, Excel will block it and show an error message. Next, let's create a drop-down list for the department column. This ensures users select only valid options. Select the department column, D2 D10. Go to Data Validation. Under Allow, choose List. In the source box, type the options separated by commas. HR, IT, Sales, Marketing. Click OK. Now, users can only select one of these options. No typos or invalid entries allowed. Let's add a custom error message for invalid inputs in the salary column. Select the salary column, E2, E10. Go to Data Validation. Under Allow, choose Decimal and set the range from 1000 to 50,000. Click the Error Alert tab. Set the title to Invalid Salary. Set the error message to 
Please enter a salary between 1,000 and 50,000. Click OK. When someone enters an invalid salary, they'll see this custom message. For advanced validation, you can use formulas. Let's allow only future dates in the join date column. Select the join date column, C2 C10. Go to data validation. Under allow, choose custom. Enter this formula. Equals C2 today. Click OK. Now, Excel will block any past dates and only allow future dates. If you want to remove validation, select the cells with data validation. Go to data validation and click clear all. This removes all restrictions from the selected cells. That's it for today's tutorial on data validation in Excel. Now you know how to restrict inputs, create drop-down lists, and customize error messages.
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching Developer Matty, and I'll see you in the next video.